Well, this past week has been a little too cold for the kids to go out and play in the snow. But if your children are getting cabin fever, we have a solution. Our mommy on a shoestring, Beth Engelman, is here to make it all better. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and nothing makes it better than food, right? This is true. And that's what I love about you. You got treats. I treats do. for grown, grown ups with cabin fever and treats for the little ones as and well. And this one I love because it's actually really nutritious at the same time. Mm -hmm. This is breakfast pizza. Very which cool. I love because, you know, we love pizza. So anything with pizza is great. And it's great for those snow days where you're like, oh my gosh, I have eight more hours with the kids. So it's a great thing to do with the kids. <laughs> oh, so this is something that's safe for them to do. Uh huh. That you can uh, do with them and you know what you know what can I tell you as a kid I loved breakfast for dinner like it was yes. the most fun thing in the world when my dad would be like let's make pancakes I never realized it was to waste time never and now we're telling the secret yeah. so yeah absolutely your dad was very smart yes right so this is perfect for breakfast for pizza and um, breakfast for dinner as okay. well so what you're going to do is you can take like I like this um, bobbly like pre-made crust because mm -hmm. I have to just like take it out of the bag. Right. But you can make your own <laughs> crust if you want. If you're that ambitious. Exactly. Right? And then you're going to take a cup of mozzarella cheese uh -huh. and Jean, can you do the? Oh, just absolutely. You know. It all now over. you know you're starting. You, you're so smart, Beth. You know me. I do the food stuff okay. <laughs> well, you all you do everything okay. But here's the thing: you can also get the mini individual ones, so all your kids can make their own. Right, and then they can make it to their own liking. Mm -hmm. Like that. Okay. Love so. That. The mozzarella. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to just lightly um, scramble two eggs. Mm -hmm. And you can let them be a little runny because you are going to put this in the oven. Oh, so they'll cook more. Yeah, I overcook my eggs, so mm -hmm. it's sort of my specialty. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I'm not as crazy about eggs. I would do egg whites, and you always have to overcook those anyway. Right. And so, so this is just um, pre-made, pre-cooked bacon, turkey mm -hmm. bacon, and this is chicken sausage. Oh, okay, great. Which we love, and again, it's lean, it's nutritious, mm -hmm. and it's good protein. And then it still looks like mm -hmm. uh, a pizza. Yep. Very cool. And you know what? In the bigger chunks, it looks like Canadian bacon. Awesome. Ooh. And then we have, uh, what is this? Well, you know what? I added spinach and mushrooms just ah. in case you want to give it your own gene personality. Yes, I love spinach. Yeah, and. And I love mushrooms. And so then how long do you bake this? You, Once you've cooked the thing, you have to put it back under? You put it in the oven for about um, 10 minutes at 350 degrees. Okay. And all this is on the WCI website. Right. Awesome. So, awesome. Now, what's this little craftiness we've got over okay, here? Okay, so this is a great one. In fact, I made this one myself. Uh -huh. um, we all have resolutions to get decluttered, right? Right. So here's my junk drawer. Mm -hmm. I actually brought the drawer. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Beth? That's what I love about you. You're so honest. Like, I have a junk drawer, and this is what and it looks this like. this is what it looks like. But the great thing is you just bring it out, and you say, kids, let's make brooches. Let's make um, things for your backpacks using the junk. So, okay, cool. Jean, this is really neat. So we're going to use felt. And here's some tea lights. Who doesn't have extra tea lights after Christmas, right? Oh, my goodness. So, All the time, actually. So why don't you pull out the uh, candle? Oh, the whole candle? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. I'm trying to get the little... Of course, it takes, yeah. like, no time. Oh, you okay. did it. Perfect. Yeah, did it. Got it's it. It's very flexible. Now, take scissors, mm -hmm. and I want you just to cut little, like, fringe. In the in the metal? Um, yep. Oh, wow. It's really easy. It's like foil paper. I mean, Not only that, but you foil. can do it with kids' scissors, so your kids could do this. Oh, wow. And no wait. problem. And you know what? The uh, edges aren't that sharp. They're it's not just like, sharp. Yeah, cut But it through. looks really neat. Oh, I did, it. I did mine too big. Okay. Well, so you I can do it any ones. way you want. In okay. fact, if you see these, I don't know if we can get close-ups of them. Uh -huh. We can, we can bring them over here. Big or small. So we can get them on the overhead. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right there. So perfect. And so what you're going to do, once you make your little petals or fringe, Open it up, mm -hmm. and you're going to take a big piece of felt. You can sort of choose whatever you want, mm -hmm. and put it out. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to layer it with another color, I also have buttons. You know what these are? Washers. Oh, get out. I mean, Check who doesn't it. have, like, I And have, then that kind of flattens it out. Yeah. And you basically decorate it however you want. Exactly. Put a button. Then all mm -hmm. you have to do is sew it, mm -hmm. like two stitches. Okay. And then just take a, paper, a safety pin. Put it on the back. Yeah. And, and attach see. it to whatever you have. Yeah. Here's one Very with, uh, cute. Oh, with I like this pin. with the little the key. Little key. Yeah, Very neat. Yeah, because we also picking up keys. Love that. Well, I'm going to put this on. Oh, I like, like it. So. And uh, we'll have, of course, all the details mm -hmm. on our website. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Oh, oh my look pleasure. how cute. And it's staying up there. <laughs>